Hello all. Uh, one more most important topic uh, for the day is the database action. So we, uh, as we all are uh, working on the any application, so that interact with the database. For automation, also it is very important to know that to check the or for the validation purpose, so we can interact with the database. So through Ginger, how we can connect to the database and how we can fire the query and how we can validate the data. So that uh, I'm going to cover now. Uh, you can use a, any solution and not uh, for the specific one. So you can add the, you can create a one activity, uh, create a new group. So database or data validation group. Click next. Validate customer finish. So, and uh, for uh, database sections, uh, uh, it is uh, independent for uh, all the, uh, it supports for all the target application. We don't require to select the any specific target application for uh, performing the um, DB interaction. So it supports for all the target application. And also it don't require to uh, specify or map uh, agents. And it is main important thing is that to the environment one. So which environment you are selecting that will connect to the that particular environment database. So I, I, I will show you how to configure that. So uh, create a one group data validation or create a one activity, the data validation activity. So then configure the environment, go to the resource tab. And once you go to the resource tab, select the environment, which environment you want to add. So let me delete this. Okay, so uh, here you may see the uh, different uh, the applications, my Java application, web application, and web service app. So you can add the applications here in this environment. So under Java, you can see the database login. These three uh, tabs are there for all the applications. Okay, so if you see the uh, my Java app, you will be able to see three tabs. And if you see the my web app, you will be able to see three tabs and my web service app. So the, these are the common for all the application. So let me add, uh, let me select the database, select the database tab and click on the add button. So once you add the, uh, once you click the plus button, uh, there is a one new row will be added. So you can configure the database uh, string details. Okay, all the host and IP, username, password to uh, making the connection for database. Okay, so name the database. Uh, so if you if you have a ST1, ST2, yeah, so database name you can provide. So I'm currently using the Oracle, Oracle database. So I have selected the database type as the Oracle. So in your application, if you are using a, some different uh, uh, database like MS SQL, DB2, Cassandra, MySQL, MongoDB. So you can use, it supports for all the database, okay? So for Oracle, I am selecting the Oracle, then put the username. Username uh, will be HR and uh, for password, so I'm putting the password. One, two, three. This is for my database connection detail. And uh, the most important is that to uh, con uh, to pass the this data source. So this is the data source which we need to uh, pass here. So let me ping you this this one. It is uh, the most important 
um, string for making the database connection. So if you are trying now, you can use this string or else you can keep this as a note. So whenever you try to automate the database action on that time, it will help you. Sorry, so let me select to all. Uh, so this is the connection string is important once we provide the details here and uh, test the connection the te for testing the connection is uh, the icon here uh, so this is for testing the connection my connect to the data db succeed the my connection is success so you can add a multiple database here not only one database one database two database three st ubt production so if you have a detail so you can configure the different databases in the same environment so once this uh, uh, configuration is done so go back to the business flow and uh, select the uh, uh, select the activity under activity and uh, we need to click on add the actions click the plus button go to actions this is the uh, general action it is not the platform dependent action so this is the general action database action is the general one so there is a uh, seventh action which is mainly uh, we are using here so database action then let's see what all are the details we have in this database and for most important thing is that so we need to select the environment in which environment we have configured the database for that we need to select here okay so my oh, environment one i have configured the database connection so i i need to select the environment one then so under that environment what are the applications we have <clears throat> all the applications will uh, come over here in drop down so I have configured the connections under my web app. So for web application, I have configured. So I need to select the like, configuration. So application name, under application name. So I have created a, one database. So if you have a multiple databases, so you can select the database where you want to fire, fire the query. Okay. So for one database, I, it is showing for me one and db operation so here db operations we have a uh, different uh, operations here operation types so you need to select the pre sql okay so once you select the pre sql input type is pre text and uh, so you can pass the sql query here so select star from let me use one simple query so and uh, here we don't require to give the give the sample just pass the select query here you can you can you can pass any query not only select so all the uh, the sql queries you can fire so once it is complete and try and see whether it is you are able to run this or not and uh, see the output values eight values it is fetched from the database so these, these there are a, uh, uh, four rows so four rows are i am able to see here you can see the database so what are the what all are the records we have in this database these are the four rows uh we have four records the same records i am getting over here so these are the uh, columns reason id name for first row reason id and name for second row reason id and reason name for third and fifth and the values what are actual values what we have in the database so for these values we can either validate so if you are trying to validate the data database so you can just um, click on this uh, greater button copy and paste into the expected value you can compare the actual value to the expected value 
in database and also you can store this value into variable and those value you can use in your automation in your other flows so sometimes what is happening so we are not creating the every time we are not creating the customers and just we are using the existing customer which is having a some specific uh, conditions so that kind of customers we are fetching from the database and we are using that customer id to run our flows so in that case so we need to fire the query and then we need to uh, uh, select the variable so we need to fetch the values and store into the particular variable then uh, use that variable to our flows so one uh, exercise what i will do here is that for reading the some values from the database and we'll uh, write into the excel sheet so i did some changes that's why it is getting failed so let me verify connection is success or not no so let me provide this detail check whether this connection is success connect to db succeeded then go back and run again and also uh, you 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 may see these kind of issues so uh, where i have selected the expected value euro and address and again one more row is added here so i if i don't want to include the other records so for that you you have a one checkbox here so this checkbox add parameters automatically if you click this checkbox the whatever the value we are getting from the database or the excel so all things will get automatically added over here so if you don't want to include the other parameters so on that time you can uncheck this one and uh, so when you try to run this so it will not add the any records only it will compare with the uh, parameter which you have selected the expected value and the variables so it it won't uh, add the all the parameters automatically in this output values okay uh, so this is the database action or else we can try one exercise so i will quickly show you for reading the uh, data and writing into the excel so writing maybe you are expert now so writing into the excel i quickly i will show you the uh, that one thing so i have already fetched the one record the reason name and stored into the one variable uh, let me create the variable let me create the business flow variable click and don't require uh, we don't need uh, the initial values it will get stored automatically and select the activity go back and uh, select the variable which i have just created save and then let me add the excel action that is the general action excel let's try to email action oh sorry so yeah sorry. email action you can you can also uh, include the email action over here so if you want to uh, generate any email before running this uh, any activity okay so uh, this is the email action uh, we can include anywhere in the business flow 
based on our requirement. Okay. Uh, let me add the X selection. So I want to write the data, right? So let me add, let me create the Excel customer detail. Yeah, so let me include here. Close this. Select the Excel path and select the seat. Customer ID and view the data. The reason name is added and uh, define the row number. And also this row number also you can make uh, as a variable. So you can, uh, if you want to run in a loop yesterday, which you saw in the flow control, which we, you guys did the one exercise. So that is a flow control by using flow control. We are running in a loop right so for incrementing uh, the value every time so for that technique also you can use over here so instead of defining the hard coded value you can every time increment the index value and you can write the uh, data in the excels and primary key and data to write Equal to my reason name is empty because I this this variable is not stored at the value is not stored. So when I run the action, that will get stored. Let me run this action to success. It is failed. Why? Let's see the issue. Okay, so I have provided the one space. It's it it is uh, the that is the issue which is not getting right. Okay, the my value is stored here. So open Excel. Yeah, the value is written here. This is the uh way how we can uh, interact with the database and we can get the data from the database and do the data validation part so and in our uh, application what we are doing so we are uh, creating the customer on the front end application and we are checking whether that uh, customer id is created or not we do the some data checks in the database and we use those data into doing the some maintenance activity. So like through API also, we can hit the request and we can validate whether that entry is made in the database or not. Okay, I hope uh, we are good with this database uh, action for writing the Excel, uh, reading the data from the database and writing into Excel. Okay, see you then.